Hey guys, welcome back to Worldly Wandering. Today I want to talk to you about whether the P&O drinks package is actually worth it or not. So let's take the facts in to start with. So it's $39.95 a day, and if you're a member of P&O's loyalty club, you can get this discounted by the percentage discount on your tier. Also, if you have children under 17, you also get the children's package at no extra cost. It is worth remembering though, that everybody in the room has to have the drinks package. So if there's two of you, you're gonna be spending two lots of $39.95 a day. So let's start with the pros. You get your wines by the glass, up to £6.95, and then also a great range of beers and spirits included. You get unlimited draft soft drinks, but let's take that into consideration that actually, it's only things like Pepsi. There's no Coca-Cola on draft, you also get Costa and 20% off anything that isn't included in the drinks package. So that may be a bottle of wine, for example, or a drink over $6.95. So what we've got to start with is a menu from Iona. So you can see lagers, they're £4.50. And if we look at the wines, you can see that the majority of these would be included, apart from the Tattinger. Now if you were to take the Tattinger at £8.50 a glass and take your 20% off, you'd be paying £6.80 for that. So the question is, is that really worth it for you? Now when you're on board as well, in the Horizon, you also get a cocktail of the day. And that cocktail of the day is always listed at £6.95. And now looking at drinks in the glass house, you can see this is where you start to get a bit more of an issue with actually a significant amount of the drinks being over $6.95. So then what you really need to start asking yourself is whether or not the drinks package is really worth it for you. If you want the flexibility to be able to choose any drink you want on the glass house menu, then in reality, probably not. And if you are just a beer drinker, you have to drink over eight pints in a day to actually make the drinks package worth it. And the question at that point is, if you're getting off, are you going to? Because let's not forget, the drinks package has to be brought for every day that you're on the cruise, not just days of your choice. I think if the drinks package included more soft drinks and premium soft drinks all of the time, then it might be worth it. But I think, in all honesty, for the flexibility, we would always, ourselves, choose to not take the drinks package and just order whatever drink it is that we wanted. I hope you found that useful. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing you more information. And if you have any questions about this, please comment below. Or if the drinks package is worth it for you, let us know why in the comments. If you'd like to see the menus in a little bit more detail, here they are again for you slightly slower.